Well, this is exactly how you want to, uh, you know, finish the non-conference season and, uh, you know, feel good about giving your kids a couple days off to enjoy their family and their friends. And a lot of them are going to get out of town. Uh, I guess all of them are getting out of town. So, um, you know, I, I, I thought we, uh, we finished the game the right way this afternoon. And, um, you know, it's just a great win, you know, for our program. I thought we did a lot of really good things, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, uh, you just talk about the defense and obviously holding any team to 115% in the first half. Yeah. Uh, says a lot about how you came out. We did, and we knew we had to. You know, um, you know, we've all really pride ourselves in, in being sound defensively. Uh, we felt like today, though, the, the key to the game was going to be rebounding, really keeping them off the, the, the boards, the offensive glass, lim eliminating you know, their second, third shot opportunities. And uh, you know, I just thought we were, we were really sound. I thought Allie you know, did a great job. And it's, it's things that don't show up on this thing um, you know, that um, you know, or only shows up when we watch film and we rewatch in, in terms of just how well we how we, well we played defensively and the things we did defensively to sort of get them on their heels, I thought, um, especially in the first half. So, you know, give our kids credit. You know, this was a game that, um, you know, we challenged our, our guys. That it was 40 minutes, and we wanted to be better than we were the other night against Western Michigan uh, defensively and uh, offensively as well, and I thought we, we accomplished that. Mark, go ahead. Just in particular, uh, Sylvie was coming in with a hot hand. Uh, yeah. Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week and right. holding her down and he yeah. was it a team job. No, well, it? Allie, you know, Allie Patberg, here's, here's the, um, you know, the interesting thing with our basketball team is, you know, they always talk about the big three, Mac and Allie and Grace. Um, and, um, you know, what, what people don't realize, and uh, now they will, is that Allie Patberg has the assignment of guarding the best, the, the best perimeter player, right? And so she had that assignment this afternoon. And, yeah, you know, I don't know what she ended up with from a point standpoint, but you know, she did a trim when she came out. You know, the first thing out of all of our mouths from a staff was what a great job she had done defensively um, on that young lady, and I thought she really took her out of nothing was easy for her, and that was the goal, right? Um, was to make every she we were, she was one pass away, but was there in her footsteps, and um, you know, so give give Allie. I mean, of course, it's a team deal right you got to have your rotations you have to have your help but it starts with the one-on-one -on -one defense that Allie provided and provides for us Yeah, she um, she um, took a uh, an elbow to the like her orbital bone in practice the other night or the other day. Uh, so right now she's in uh, concussion protocol. She'll be out probably for the next I don't know seven to ten days, but we'll see after Christmas when she comes back. You know how she feels, but um, you know that's uh, why we didn't see her today on the bench. Just just for you know again light anything light noise. You know she's sensitive to all that right now. Well, I mean, I think, you know, early on, um, I felt like we were, our offense was um, ahead of us, ahead of our defense. And I think we've actually caught up, but we've also probably exceeded our offense a little bit now. Um, you know, I just, again, it's experience, it's reps, it's, you know, playing different styles, you know, with our non-conference schedule, learning, uh, you know, how to play different coverages, beca just com becoming better, you know. And I think a lot of it is just experience that we've gained uh, in our non-conference schedule. And, uh, you know, we've, we've, you've seen us improve, you know, throughout. But it also requires, you know, a team of individuals uh, that are interested in, in guarding and interested in that side of the ball. And, um, you know, I think our guys feel like 
if, if we can be sound defensively, we're always going to give ourselves a chance. It, we may not win every game, uh, but we, we're going to give ourselves a chance. And um, you know, I think that's just uh, the product that we're putting on the floor right now is, is really just, um, I think, because of the experience that we've had um, you know, throughout non-conference. But we're getting, we're, we're getting better, which is what you want your team to do. Uh, we've talked a lot about this before, the purposeful, tough non-conference schedule. Mm -hmm. So now that the non-conference games are over, Big Ten plays next week, do you think the non-conference schedule served its purpose? Oh, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, we still um, certainly, um, you know, all the woulda, coulda, shoulda's, you know, when we were down at the Bahamas against Stanford, you know, um, and then NC State here. Uh, playing Kentucky, uh, going on the road and playing a really good uh, Gwinnipiac team. Um, you know, a team like Southern Illinois, um, Fairfield. You know, I think about all the teams that play so differently. And, um, you know, that, that, that's why I answered the question that Matt had for us defensively. We've seen so many different looks and so many different actions that we've had to plan for and prepare for. Um, and so I don't, you know, I don't think we had any other option than, than getting, becoming better. And, um, and so, I, you know, I think we're looking forward to, um, you know, taking some of the lessons. And trust me, there were lessons in every win, and there were great lessons in every loss, and trying to apply them as we move forward, um, you know, at Rutgers on the 30th. Skip. Hi, Skip. Hey, hey, Coach. Congratulations Thank you. on the win. Um, you guys, next up, you have Rutgers on the road. Always, always a tough program mm -hmm. out there, especially uh, in Jersey. Now, this is a team that you haven't seen in a year. Uh, right. Both, both games last year were postponed due to some problems on, on there. And, uh, and you're coming off of a holiday break. What will your preparations look like uh, from here on out to get ready for the Scarlet Knight team that, that you're not all that familiar? Sure. Well, you know, a lot of that, obviously, Garantes, you know, went to the draft, and then the other four left. Um, you know, Diamond is, is now the point guard at NC State. So, um, you know, they've had several that have left the program. So you're right. This is a, um, you know, a different-looking team, uh, different personnel. Obviously, you know, Coach Stringer's not on the sideline this year as well, so uh, Tim is coaching them. So, um, but a lot of philosophy things, you know, they're still going to press. They're still trying to keep you in the low 50s defensively. Um, and so, you know, I, I think one of the, the, the advantages that, that you have when you're a veteran team is that you understand how to handle Christmas break. Right. And, um, you know, of course, we talked about COVID. Of course, we talked about health, you know, staying healthy and being mindful of, you know, um, making sure, you know, we're wearing our mask, you know, wherever we go. Um, and all of them are leaving. So that's a concern. But I also have to trust them and realize that a year ago they didn't get to go home. And so I'm really excited that, they, that this year it's different for them. Right. That they get to enjoy family and friends and, um, you know, when they come back, uh, all of them will report back on the 27th of December. And then we'll um, have a, I think it's 4, 4 p.m. practice. And we'll, so we'll practice uh, for three days and then we'll get on a flight and head, head over to Jersey. So we'll, we'll have our normal practice time um, and prep time for them. I'm not concerned about that. Um, I do think that's one of the advantages of having an experienced team. They, they understand that, you know, Big Ten starts and we got to be ready to go. Any other questions for Coach? Happy holidays, guys. Merry Christmas.